What is up guys, it's Fanboy from Super Lego Fanboy, and today we got another Lego Ninjago Dragon's Rising set. This is set number 71795, ages A and up. This is the Temple of the Dragon Energy Core. It has 1029 pieces, you get 6 minifigures, 1 shrine, or 1 small shrine to be exact, and of course the temple itself. Now before we look at the set, here's a look at the box artwork. Oops, another piece. There you go. Okay, 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 back to the beat. Sorry about that. The figures we get in this set are Kai, Cole, Nia, Spirit of the Temple, Lord Ross, and then Witch Beatrix. And if we go to the set, uh, look at the top, and you see uh, the same figures right there. And of course, an exercise scale of, your, of the minifigure right there. Here's a look at the back, so, here's a clip, look at that, and you get the one of the, one, you get one of the dragon courts, this is the golden one, and, yeah, pretty quick, cool. Now let's take a look at this, uh, set. Uh, let me move in a little closer. <clears throat> we'll move our figures out of the way, we'll, we'll take a look at the figures in a little bit. Ah! Get the figures in a little bit, then we'll look at the shrine, and uh, we'll first look at the temple itself. So, right off the bat, this is super impressive in my opinion. The color schemes are really cool, dark green, dark blue, I almost said dark green. Uh, there is some green in this set, uh, brown, gold, some red, and yeah, pretty nicely done. And... Quite frankly, this appeared in episode 11, but it's also called the Temple of the Dragon Energy Core. Super cool at this and funny at the same time. But all jokes aside, let's take a closer look at this set. Now, this is literally impressive in my opinion. Probably one of the best temples Legos made in a while. Um, so we'll start with the front. So we'll work our way from the front, then we'll work our way to the top. And you can see we got a well right here with uh, uh, with some green energy swirling inside. Um, we got two dragon. We got some dragon stickers right there, two on each side. Main doors are pretty nice done. You can obviously open them, which is pretty nice. Um, uh, there's a there's one feature. Of, there's a there's a, here we come come across gimmick number one of the set so let's just say you're on your way inside a temple let's you know this uh, tree right here uh, this one right here is actually a let's say it can knock you out it's all controlled by this uh, knob in the back which I will show you right now this knob right here so so yeah it just goes up and down like so and since we look at the inside, here's a look at well, what the first floor inside looks like. Uh, we got some lot uh, empty space right here. We got a bookshelf right there. We got a sticker with like I'm guessing the six elements right there. And yeah, that's pretty nice to go. And if you're wondering, here's what a mini figure would actually look like inside of it. And um, this would come if we go up. This will be gimmick number two of this set. This uh, brown leaf pole right here. That's a booby trap right there. These uh, these uh, swirling pieces are actually supposed to fall out. So watch out, Cole. Honestly, I really hope this would not mini picker fall, but I guess this is the best you can do. So uh, you get two of these. So it's pretty basic. Nothing too. So it's nice to have again second one. So nicely done. And just and put them back in. You just slide them in like so. Okay, there we go. Over here we got a little stand for. We got a little stone pens for your uh, the spirit of the temple minifigure in there. It goes in like so. 
and we got a knob right here and that's another that we got another feature in this set so so for this is probably the temple is full of booby traps um very secret sacred grounds i'm guessing here if we go up we got the dragon core right there with next the uh, connect the, the these dragon hinges right there and we got a sticker right there and if we go all the way to the top, we got a bell right here, which can, I'm calling it a bell, it can actually ring. Well, it can just, well, it doesn't really ring, it can, like, swing. Right side. Um, well, should tackle the outside. So, in the episode, it, this was found in tree, and we got some tree elements in, in this set, which is pretty nicely done right there. If we go up, we got a really nice bridge right there, and we got a platform to put a minifigure in, so how about we put uh, Nia up here, and yeah, there's Nia inside of it. Let us know there's another trap, so if you press this uh, flag down, I'm calling it, the thing will just come right off. So, like I said, very sacred ground, and just, just put it back on, there's... Um, this, uh, there's, uh, this red, uh, rounded piece that is, like, your guide, so, to connect it, there we go. That's pretty nicely done. Yeah. And, uh, here's a closer look at the bell. There's a, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's the, uh, there's a, um, it would be best if I show you. There's a sticker right there, you can clearly see right there. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for the temple. Um... If, uh, speaking of temple, this sticker right here that that says temple in the Ninjago language, it's a sticker right there. We got some more stickers right here. Uh, they are all identical. So, yeah. I mean, my overall thoughts about this temple, I really like this a lot. I mean, it's really, it's some really cool uh, techniques they use. And, yeah, that's just cool. I mean, in fact, you got a well right there, which is pretty nicely done. Uh, these uh, lantern pieces right here are printed. They're not cigars, thank goodness. And overall, this I'm pretty satisfied, satisfied with this temple set. So let's move this temple out of the way. Next, I will take a look at this little shrine thing. And it's pretty basic. You get a really big uh, sword piece right there. You get more of these uh, printed head pieces for these lanterns. Now... I'm pretty sure we never saw this in the episode, so, I don't know, so, but, yeah, that's pretty interesting, but it's still cool to have, and, yeah, it's pretty decent. Now, let's take a look at our figures, so, we got Kai, Nia, Cole, the Spirit of the Temple, Lord Roz, and let me see if I can, and we got Empress Beatrix right there. So first I will take a look at Kai, and um, he's pretty much the same figure we got in with some of the other Dragon's Riding set, but still nice to get Kai. Um, we really love the printing on his front there, on, same on his legs. If you remove the armor piece, same printing on the back right there, and he has two his two faces, his like digi face and his like smirk face right there. And like I said, I mentioned, all the ninjas have katanas that are holding on their backs. So you can actually have them in hold have them in your in their hands. So if you want to. Hmm. Next up we have Nia, Kai's uh si uh Kai's uh sister or brother uh Nia's Kai's uh sister. And pretty much the same figure we got in that Four plus set, and uh, anyways, see it has some some nice printing on the front there, nice printing in the back there. Um, she has two faces, her like digi face and her like really like her really smirky face right there, which is nicely done. So so far these mini packs are not exclusive except for one of them. I will get to that one next. Now here we have Cole right here, and um, he's a pretty nice figure to have. 
But though he was not seen in episode 11, so I don't know why they put Cole in the set, but it's still nice to get Cole. He has a nice printing on the front there, the orange, black, right there. And uh, I'm trying to remove his uh, armor. Uh, they got some, he has some really nice printing on the front there. Some nice printing on the back there is pretty nicely done as well. And he has his two faces, like his real, his new, like, like his really grinny face. And his, like, really, like, digi face. Seriously, it's just, those, like, these, uh, these faces just remind me so much of the Prime Empire face look. There. So, pretty cool. So, all the ninjas have katanas on their backs. Now, here's the, now, this mini bear is exclusive to the set. This is the Spirit of the Temple, which I will say again, is an exclusive, and appeared in... That's in only one episode that the Temple of the Dragon Energy Core. And uh yeah, this is like like a ghostly figure in the set. He has some, some nice back printing on his torso right there. And he has some nice printing on his front. The robes look pretty nicely done. Very spooky looking. And and looks pretty darn cool. So he has two faces, this is like his like his like awakened face. And I don't know if you can see that that's like it's like his stone face. I'm not entirely sure. I'm trying to get in the focus right there. It's a little tricky for me. But I think you can ship. But overall, a very spooky figure, but I like it. Here we have Lord Ross and pretty much the same figure we got in some of the other Dragon Rising sets. Nice arm printing right there on both arms. Um his head is one molded piece. Uh take off your armor. Has a nice printing on the front. Uh, and on his back right there, and of course Lord Ross is a tiger, and he has some thing on his face right there. They wish he, they would have given him like some white, some more printing on his mouth, Just make him stand out a little more. And his weapon is obviously his hammer. And the last figure we get is Empress Beatrix, and she's pretty much identical from the one we saw in the Elemental Dragon set. And uh, yeah, this figure is kind of has a has a hate, has a grudge against the ninja after what they did. I mean, the ninjas did what's right, and she wants to, let's just say she wants revenge on the ninjas. Well, let's say that plan kind of backfired. And, uh, she has two faces. This is, like, her, like, stern face. And she has an even angrier expression right there. So, and her weapon is an Imperium Blade piece. Which is kind of strange. She said began like the like that stab piece we saw in the Elemental Dragon set. But overall, she's a really nice figure to get. Yeah. But now let's bring back everything back in. So we'll bring in. There we go. Let's uh, let's rearrange this stuff right here. Bring in a temple. Uh, Kai Nia Cole's rear of the temple. Roz and uh, oops, Beatrix Shopper Blake and Beatrix right there and the slow shrine right there. So let's zoom back in and so I'll try to get in focus. Guys, I'm trying to get focus. So, what are my overall thoughts about this set? I mean, yeah, this is so far a really nice temple build. And probably the only temple build we get in this Dragon's Rising Season Wave 1. And the figures are pretty nice. Um, that, that this is probably the cheapest way you could get uh, Beatrix. But this is, this is a figure, you, you get an exclusive minifigure, the Spirit of the Temple. And yeah, overall, I'm pretty darn satisfied how this thing looks. And yeah, I like it very much. So, that was it guys, this was your view on the LEGO Ninjago Dragon's Rising. Temple of the Dragon NG Core. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, turn that notification bell so you won't miss out any more awesome videos like these. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you next time.